can't breathe, then I definitely don't recommend this combo or this set, whatever you want to call it, because this is very hard on the knees. Also, definitely knee pad up. If you ain't got knee pads on, you're gonna have sad knees on, okay? Hello darkness, my old friend. Really be careful on this one. Knee pads are relevant if you want to have good knees. So the reason I want to teach you guys this set in particular is because when I had injured wrists, I felt like I couldn't break, I couldn't create new moves, I didn't know what to do, but this combination set, go down, battle combo, whatever you want to call it, I created when my wrists were injured and I couldn't put my hands down. So think about that for a moment. When you're injured, you can still create, you can still make stuff. You just gotta be creative and recreate yourself. Don't take injuries as setbacks, they're set forwards. They set you up to go forwards in a different direction because you get an opportunity to recreate yourself and recreate your style by creating moves that you wouldn't have touched upon before. So this combination was created by Injured Wrist Magnus by yours truly. Enough talking, chop them arms off, we don't need them today, and let's go. As per always with my combos, we're starting off step by step because that's the way we do it here, all right? So we're starting off with just our Casper knee rock. So you're gonna start here, going left, right, left, right squat, okay? So again, left, right squat. Then from here, your arms are gonna wind up to the back. So you land, left, right, arms to the back. One, two, hit, right away. So one motion, you're going hit, like that, okay? You're the reason you want your arms behind you so you can swing them forwards and get that momentum because you're gonna need momentum because we're not using our hands, okay? Okay, from here, your Casper knee rocks. To make sure you don't smash your knees really hard, like I've done many times in the past, you wanna open your chest up and push your hips forwards when you go onto your knees. So try this a couple times. Push, just like that, like a knee slide, okay? One more time, push knee slide. So you're pushing from your hips and your pelvis forwards. The reason we do that is when we put our knees down, if we just hop on them, all the pressure's on your knees. But if we push our hips out, we actually get our knee down to the ground faster so there's less room to smash your knee. So watch, push, push. Versus this, hop, okay? Now add your arms into the equation, so we're gonna rotate over, push, push, just like that. So your arms twisting through your body, hips pushing forwards, Back straightening. All right, next part from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna crisscross your legs, just like this. Cross, cross, cross. So you're gonna cross and then rotate upwards, like that. So again, here, cross, push up. Now from there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hop into that position. Rather than pushing yourself up, you're gonna hop yourself up. So you're here, you're gonna cross and then hop at the same time. So hop, like that. Back to our position, now hop into it. Lean, hop. Now add your arms in. So your arms, again, whipping through your body, you gotta use your upper body or else you're never gonna make it. So you're here, three, two, one, up. Obviously without momentum, you're not really gonna get anywhere, but just try to get to a balancing position. I call this a falling step because there's literally no balancing there because you're trying to balance while sitting like this on your own leg. So it's not gonna happen. Basically the point of it is to get that leg behind so that you can travel quickly forwards for the next step. So you're not gonna balance there, you're not gonna hold there, it's just to get comfortable going there and then you're gonna transfer out of there right away. So, now try without your hands on the ground. So you're here, whipping. So without your hop first, you're just gonna push up, rotate behind, drop, okay? Try again. Here, and whip at the same time as you push off your feet, rotating around. That's gonna happen a lot. Now try with a hop. So here, you're gonna hop off your feet and land again. Hop, one. Again, it's gonna happen a lot, you're gonna fall. This isn't a step this easy, guys, but you got this! Okay, from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just put your right foot down, then your left into a squat. So it's like a traveling sideways squat thing that I just made up. So you're here, you're falling forwards into that right foot right away. Pop, pop, hit. So get comfortable with that. Starting here, right foot crossed behind, and you're going, one, two, three. Again, and here, one, two, three. All right, now try no-handed. So, use your fingertips, get your balance, and then one, two, 
three, all right? Now connect the turn into that step. So from here, you're going over, then you're turning, then you're going one, two, three. All right, try it with hands first. You're going one, two, three. So it's gonna be quick. You have to go with that momentum or else you're just gonna crash. I'm gonna show you guys the side view. So from here, three, I'm gonna go with all my arms so I should find it easier. Up, da, 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 so, if it looks like that, that's normal. We have no momentum. Usually, we would have our forwards momentum, so if you go in a circle or whatever, don't worry about it. Just focus on getting that step proper. As soon as you get that step proper, then you can focus on making that forwards. All right, now the slide. From here, rather than putting your foot down, you're gonna bring it up and back as this foot slides forwards. So you're gonna be landing in this position. Boom, just like that. So you wanna focus on your left knee, and side of your body sliding as your right foot opens up to the back. So try with your left hand first. You're gonna go from here, reach forwards, kick your right foot back as your left leg slides forward. So you're going side, side, boom, like that. Now as you do that, you're gonna grab your right foot with your right hand. So from here, three, two, one, slide, like that. If you guys have seen Torito's side slide that he does, like this, hop, it's kind of like that move, but even though I can't do it well, but it's that similar kind of motion. So the trick is you gotta get this foot down, like that, as you slide forward. So down, like that. But what you're doing is you're using this hand to push down as this hand pulls back, because both of those hands opening is actually gonna help you with the motion. So from here, three, two, one, slide. Just like that, just do a baby one first. Just like that. Try again. Three, two, one, slide. So notice how I prep off the ground because I need this foot forwards and I need my body bent in so that I can explode out because that's the only way I get power to go forwards. So here, open. Okay, now when you add the steps into it, you're gonna notice it's way easier. So if we start here from where we were, we do that one, two, and right here, you take that momentum forwards and you push it down into your slide. So you're going from here into push, push, slide. Carry that momentum forwards. If you don't, you're gonna bail. Last time, one, two, slide. All right, y'all, last piece of the puzzle. We are there, can you taste it? Can you feel it? Can you master it? That's up to you. What we're gonna do is now, your right foot from here is like this. You're gonna push it down to your bum, push up like that and balance. So get that comfortable first. Here, imagine you're grabbing. Imagine your dragons are grabbing, then you're gonna push it down, push up, and up, and up. Then from here, raise that leg up, arm under. So that together, here, push, hit. It's hard with all momentum, but just try, just try, man. Here, and hit, add a hop in. So rather than putting your foot down first, you gotta hop into that. So from here, three, two, one, up. So if you notice, without momentum, I can't really get anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is gonna put my foot under my body a little bit so I can leverage it off the ground to raise my body up so that I can get this foot under it or else there's no chance. So I'm gonna go up. You notice that? Lean forwards, use this left foot on the ground to push yourself up like that, and then bring your right foot under. So here, up, like that. Into the actual move now. So you're here, hit. Boom, baby. All right, now let's go slide into the ending move. Ready? So we're going from here because it's the place that makes the most sense. Going one, two, slide, hit. Woo! So if you notice, I even fall on that part because without the perfect amount of momentum and without going the perfect timing, you're still gonna lose your balance. So you gotta drill it. 
Try again, add a bit more power in. One, two, slide, hit. Okay, slow walk through from the top, go in. One, two, three, four, five, six, catch yourself. Seven, eight, sliding, one, two, then hopping, three, four. All right, don't worry about counts, it's just natural for me at this point. Cool your life. Hey. Okay, now keep the momentum going, because again, this is a momentum-based combo. Without it, you're gonna struggle. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you guys a slow-mo of the combo because I can't slow it down or else I bail. So I think that speaks to the momentum we were talking about. show you guys what can be created when you're injured, when you're feeling depressed because you can't practice what you usually practice and you feel like there's no point practicing because you can't train like you usually train and it's such a struggle. I've been there many times but again this is just to show you guys what can be created when you're in that state of being. Just gotta think, be creative and focus on what you can use, not what you can't use. All right guys, thanks so much for watching guys. Use this combo, use this set, flip it, change it, rearrange it, you make it yours and make you change it. Again, you can use it in its full, all the moves the exact same way. It's just gonna look like me and it's gonna look like my kind of combo. So if you wanna do that, by all means, but I highly recommend creating it yourself. Take a move here, take a move here, flip it, make it different, put your own flavor in, change it, because then it's gonna be better, because it's gonna be your move. And you wanna make this into your move, not just my move, okay? Done in your body, because no one wants to see my moves on your moves. They wanna see your moves created with my moves. Does that make sense? Have I said moves too many times? I think so. On that note, this is all you got. Thanks so much for watching. This is Megan's Magneto from Now and Ever Crew. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, do comment down below. Give the video a like if you learned something. Give the video a big old bell smash if you'd like to see more of my content and more of this sweaty old face. And do please subscribe for the broken wrist combos. Thank you so much. So you're hungry, you want more. I was the same growing up as I started breaking and I'm the same now as I've continued breaking. Which is why I started a weekly newsletter every Monday, Mondays with Magnus, where I'll be sharing anything from breaking to health and everything in the middle that I've found that I can leverage to my advantage to becoming the best human being I can possibly be. To join, all you have to do is email me at magnus.ff94 at gmail.com and I will see you Monday.